Hi guys, Todd here again with the TW Home Show channel and I've got another video for you today. It's uh, another lock from Ardwolf. It's, uh, I believe it's the D5S model. It's a deadbolt fingerprint lock and I got these for my back door. I'm going to install them on my back door for quick fingerprint entry and uh, I'm going to take you over to the bench here and we're going to take a look at it on the bench and see how it programs your fingerprint and codes and stuff like that. Now you can get into this, uh, get through this device into your home with uh, three different methods. The first method being uh, fingerprint, second method being touch screen combination code, anywhere from four to 12 digits, and or uh, a physical key, which I hope we don't need those because that's not why I bought this lock. So stay tuned, we'll get into it. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, this is what you get. Uh, this one from uh, Ardwolf also comes in a plain box as well, like the other one. Now, this style is a deadbolt lock. As you can see here, it's just the deadbolt. It doesn't have a handle on it to open a door. If you want to, if you need one with a handle on it, and you, you're not looking for a deadbolt lock, I'll leave the link up here above for the same company that makes this fingerprint lock with the door entry handle on it. So in this case, it's the deadbolt lock. It's the model number D5S. And I'll leave the link in the description where to purchase it from. Of course, from Amazon. And it's a touch screen that will light up. It's got all your numbers in here. I don't know if you can see on the camera. We'll put some batteries in here soon. And then your fingerprint scanner is right up here. And then I believe after you scan it, it will give you the unlock OK sound and then you just unlock it with this uh, turning knob here. We got your gasket here for this and this is the inside part. I've already installed the batteries for us because we're going to test this out and this cover goes on here like this and then you can lock it from inside with this knob here and then you can also lock out to not allow any fingerprints or codes or, or any physical key by turning this. This is your lockout. So nobody can come in like if this were on a bathroom shower door or something like that exterior door and you're in there and you don't want anybody to come in uh, that's how you can prevent that from happening so then of course you got your actual deadbolt and your striker plate and your attaching mounting screws and keys which i hope none of us need now this also comes with if this uh, unit runs out of batteries. You just uh, hold your 9 volt battery up to here. You might have to go out to the store to get one if you're locked out, but at least you can get in with that. You just hold the 9 volt battery up there and it'll give this enough power to go ahead and let you uh, use your entry method. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and then we'll start to see if we can program this thing. like it's plugged in there now and this has this cover has to be off because your initial programming button is right here just to get started and then you do the rest of the programming on the keypad and yes we do have some power now okay here's how we're going to do it we're going to hold the button it says to press your finger on there and again one more time You'll hear that long beep and then remove the button and your finger and that should do it we'll give it a test try right now and it did unlock i heard the clicking sound and now it allows me to turn this and now it's disengaged so we'll try it again it unlocked i'm turning it's allowing me to turn that pin see and then it disengages after about uh, two or three seconds so i'll try it again it unlocked and we can turn the pin that will unlock the door. And now the pin is disengaged. So that works really well. Now I'm going to try this other pointer finger. And that screen flashes red and it doesn't let you control the, the plunger there. Red flashing. 
red. So the only one that's programmed now is this one, my left hand pointer finger, that allows me to turn the lock. And now I'll program some other fingers in there and we'll see how this works. Okay, we'll start over. I'm going to try the middle finger now. See if that fingerprint's better. Let it time out here. Touch the screen. Press star. One, two, three, four. Pound. One. Star. Pound. Fingerprint. 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 We got it. So we'll try the middle finger now, see if it works. And it does. So that's how you do the fingerprint. So we'll try that again. I'm going to do my pinky finger this time. Touch the screen. I'll do star. One, two, three, four. And pound sign. And then one. And then star. Then pound. And it's going to ask for the fingerprint there. Press firmly three times. And a long beep, and you've got it. it. It takes it when you hear that long beep on the after the third fingerprint reading. So we'll try it now. Now my pinky. Yep, that worked. So that's how you put your fingerprints in there. So make sure you get everybody in the family uh, that needs access to it. You get them, you know, have them all programmed, lined up, and program them all at the same time, and then. Uh, of course, you might already have this mounted to the door. It might be easier doing it like this on the on the table, like I'm doing it. Uh, either way, so I'm going to go ahead and mount this, and then we'll take a look at it and see how it works on the door and see how it looks. now next the only thing is this doesn't auto lock behind you so you're gonna to have to put your fingerprint on there to get the engagement of the pin uh, to lock it behind you if you're locking from outside otherwise on the inside there's a lever okay so we're locked up here now and we're going to do the keypad we did our combination and then the pound sign or hashtag So we'll lock it, it's locked again. Now it's locked up. So we'll do our fingerprint. Easy as that. Okay guys, now there are some features that I do not like about this lock. It's not to say it's not a good lock, but uh, I'm used to features with my other combination lock. And those features are where it's a motorized deadbolt. So it locks behind you if you want to have that setting. So it will lock after 30 seconds that you enter or uh, exit the door. This one, you're gonna have to lock it behind you. Uh, you don't need keys though, so it's very easy and fast to do with your fingerprint. Uh, you need your fingerprint on there to allow it access to turn that deadbolt, to even lock it behind you when you leave. So it's one thing to remember. Anyways, thank you for tuning in today and stopping by to watch another one of my videos. Please subscribe and hit a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you very much. See you on the next video.